Hello everybody, my name is Gadimo. Welcome back for another video of NHL 9. This is Dynasty mode. We're going to continue this series. Uh, on the last video, it's been a while since I last did a video of this, guys. But here we go. We actually had a pretty decent year. I think it was our fourth year. And really pretty decent one. We actually got rid at the beginning of the season uh, of Jacques Plante. In order to get uh, to get more space, more time for Letanen. Which ended up being a really better, way better goaltender in the long run. So definitely going for Letanen instead of Plante was a better idea, guys. And we've got a lot of young prospect goaltenders as well that can um, replace eventually Jacques uh, uh, Miltonen and become a, a stud like uh, Plant was supposed to be so we're good we're starting the playoffs against the Toronto Maple Leafs I don't remember who won the cup last time let me just uh, see quick. I know we lost to the Stanley Cup champions last time but I don't remember who it was let me just see the awards real quick it was the Flyers okay we well, gotta watch out for the Flyers I don't know if they're in the playoffs they are not in the playoffs, so they're not going to win two cups in a row. Alright, so we don't have to worry about them. Um, we had to worry about them twice in a row, and now, not this time around. So, it looks like we're good. We're going to have to face off against the Toronto Maple Leafs. So, we're just going to go ahead and do a quick simulation. And a small simulation. See which one favors us the most, really, in the playoffs. With the, our new Geltender, really. Oh my god, 7-6. to six. What the hell is this? This is a, uh, this is something else. Good lord, complete shootout. All right, let's just go into a slow simulation then, and uh, see how it goes. Please do not give up seven goals. Ah shit, we gave up four. Okay, Letonen. Oh, we're facing off against Patrick Roy as well. Oh my god, are you serious? Okay, well this is gonna be rough. It's gonna be rough. I don't know if we're gonna beat these guys. Man, I, we can't catch a break. There's too many good players everywhere, and now we can't. We just can't catch a break. We can't do anything, guys. We're already trailing two to nothing. This shit is ridiculous. Let's go. I believe in you, guys. You can do this shit. We've got the team. Oh no, we lost. Fuck it. Fuck it. We're gonna get eliminated. What is this? Go like, what's going on here, guys? I don't get it. This series is a waste of my time. I, I swear. Oh my, I can't win anything with any NHL game. I'm the worst GM of all time. The fuck? How am I getting 61 wins in a season and just getting swept in the playoffs just like the Tampa Bay Lightning? That makes no sense. The fuck is going on? Come on, guys. Litton, and I believe in you. You got something, right? You got a game where you're not gonna give us. There we go. You had to have a, at least a game where you're not, it's not gonna give us uh, or play like Plant was. Good lord. Alright, so Robinson is injured. That's just that's just great right there. We just lost our main goal, our main defenseman. Now we gotta play without him while we're trailing 3 to 1. That is just fucking great, guys. Oograh for us. Well, going for the sixth uh, or the fifth game, we won at eight to four. All right, all right. Possible comeback. I'm not uh, hoping for anything, guys. We're trailing three to two now. We gave up four goals again. Now, come on, what is going on here? Is it just a curse for my goaltenders to be to be playing really bad in the playoffs? It's some sort of curse, a curse, isn't it? I swear it's a curse, guys. Look at this. Three goals per game. Four goals per game in the playoffs. Are you, what's going on here? What about him? I can't, like, I don't know what's going on. Is there any goaltender that's not going to have a curse in the playoffs and give up, like, four goals? That's crazy. That's crazy. Let's see if we can uh, make it further. Oh shit. We lost five. See another five goal. How are we supposed to compete with that shit? Oh whatever man. Fucking whatever. And Robinson now decides to come back. Thank you Mr. Robinson. 
You were a great help to our team, that's for sure, for Christ's sake. And now, we just got eliminated the first fucking round, I swear. What is going on? I'm saying bullshit. I'm not doing this shit, guys. I'm cheating. Rewrite time. Time to use the goddamn uh, time stone from the Thanos. Let's go. Well, guys, it seems like the time stone is broken. Because the game just screwed with it. just auto save exactly when I got eliminated. Are you fucking with me, game? Oh, they want me to to stop playing uh, playing them so bad. Holy shit. Let's see if... The, the Toronto Maple Leafs better win the goddamn cup, guys. I swear I'm gonna fucking rage quit. I swear. I will. I will transition into another game uh, right away if they don't win the goddamn cup. I, This is garbage. It's just ridiculous. I mean, come on. 61 wins. We're the best team three times in a row in a year. And we can't even make it far into the playoffs. We should be a goddamn winning three Stanley Cups in a row. We're not doing it. I don't know what to do in the playoffs. Like, come to play us, I just don't know what to do. Who do, who do I need, have to, like, who do I need in my team in order to win the cup? I don't get it. I know it's a different season, but that shit's ridiculous. It's not only a different season, it's a complete garbage season. I don't get it, guys. Whatever. I'll see you once uh, the draft pick comes up. We just got screwed, guys. The Columbus Blue Jackets won the cup this year. Fucking ridiculous. I hate that shit so much. W like, why? Why are we getting eliminated in the first round to a not a non-competing team? This is fucking ridiculous. We lost Rod Brindamo, uh, I guess. So, good riddance to you, I guess. You didn't help us at all in the goddamn playoffs. Uh, Bill Guerin, he got uh, he retired. We lost uh, the the Zubus retired as well. Right, all these players we got. Uh, let me see really quick. Scott Sullivan. Okay, so a couple of players here and there. All right, nothing. Uh, nothing uh, too crazy. How about the the, the goalies? So, you uh, UA, but about, uh, aside from that, nothing really. So, no real goaltenders. And uh, that's about it. Man, this is just a screw job entirely. I am tired of this bullshit, guys. And we can't get good draft picks because we play so good in the, pl the season. And we are getting far into the draft picks. And then, we're just getting screwed. Because we're getting eliminated right away. It's like, what the fuck? Oh my god. Okay, you know what? I don't even... Let's just go for the draft pick, I guess. See what we can get. Can I just switch goddamn team? I could just switch the team up as uh, for the GM. I would feel a little bit better, guys. I, I'm not gonna lie, because... It's just a waste of my time. The trashers are trash, literally. What the fuck? It can't play in the playoffs. Alright, let me just see real quick. What do we have here? We have this guy probably would be a good choice. Odette. Or. Alright, so. Or Mar uh, Mara. Uh, not, not Mara. Uh, actually, uh, Spang. Because Mara, we don't even know if he's really that good. Uh, I'm going to say this guy is probably in the 75s. This guy is probably in the 75 as well. He's got a shit uh, shit offense. This guy probably have a shit offense as well. I don't know what to take. What about the goaltenders? Do we have any good goaltenders? Nope. Alright, so we have to focus on the player here. He's, uh, Odette is, I guess... We're gonna uh, go for Sun, all right? So he, the league is kind of interested in the, uh, him and him. They're not interested in Mara, and uh, they're certainly not interested in any other guy, uh, guy here. So anybody here that we could McGrath maybe, 
19 years of age we kind of forget about that we want to take up uh, 18 years of age we're just going to take out the defenseman philip odette see what he uh what he's like all right so first round pick we didn't have a second round pick it looks like so first round pick what it was 75 overall it's fine defenseman all right so i'm just gonna go ahead and auto draft auto draft all of it and we should be good i don't want to do like always i don't want to do the drafts because it's kind of uh, i prefer the new draft system than this one anyways let's just go into the goddamn resigning phase all right we've got um let, let's just go for uh, first the centers we got fosberg who needs to come back he wants to come back even though not doing anything for us like where's your 95 offensive awareness coming uh like going where when you're in the playoffs my guy what, let me say what he's doing last year he was great La okay so the two previous years he was great last year he wasn't doing shit for us in the first round though oh whatever he's good he's good now i'm gonna have to look for players that are really good in the playoffs and decent in the season i don't care about the season anymore i'm just looking for the playoffs players that can literally produce like crazy in the playoffs or help me out all right because this is too much it's just too much all right so frostburg you're really good two years would be really fine by me so you know what yeah let's give you two years at uh, 40 years of age and uh, see where you go from there edward is one of our prospects that we just signed or something not entirely sure He's an A minus potential. Okay, yeah, definitely we want this guy. Uh, Krebs is one of the the ones that we signed probably, but we don't need him, so we're just gonna wait on him. Uh, Edward, I am definitely gonna sign him because I do want him. Left wingers, let me see what we got, guys. So sort, Steve Shot. He does want to come back with us. He is interested. Um, he's not really going to grow that much, but he's 989 overall. Let me see what he can do for us. So, definitely good in the play uh, in this season. A playoffs, it's another thing. So, playoffs, he had great stats, but look at this. Plus 2, minus 4, 0. It's kind of... Um, so, that makes it, uh, what? A minus 2, really. Um, it's kind of rough. That's kind of I'm gonna wait on this guy because it's kind of rough to have uh, someone that is not really gonna help us in the playoffs. Defensive awareness is not that good. Steve Shot, you're gonna we're gonna have to wait on you. All right, buddy. Uh, De Vries is one of our prospects, a B minus potential. I don't think he played with us this year. He played in the AHL. He was pretty good. Playoffs, uh, not that good. Uh, that makes it for a minus one. Okay, minus one. He's 26. Yeah. All right, we're going to give him a chance. We're going to give him a chance. We never know, right? So three years. We're going to give him uh, five more. So that makes it up to 2.35 for three years. All right. We're gonna give him a chance because he's a big time prospect. We might as well assign him. I think he's one of our first round picks as well. Uh, uh, Kozlov, do we want him back? I mean, at 40 years of age, he's not gonna be able to be a like he's do he doesn't play for us anyways. So I don't think we need him back. We're not gonna sign him. Um, Mayors, Nolan Mayors. Just see really quick. Do we want him? 70, 65 overall. I, I'm not going to sign him. I'm not going to sign him. Let a right winger. A Shatan. Miroslav Shatan maybe. Oof, e potential. Do we really need him? Hold on. Is he playing any good in the... Uh, actually, he played in the AHL. So, 39. He's a plus one. Yes, he's in the pluses uh, every time. So, he's definitely a good player to have around for the playoffs. So I am going to go ahead and sign him back for another three year. So that's um, two more years. That's one million right there. So 
2.05. See if he comes back for us. So 2.05. Let's go, buddy. Come back with us for the minors. Uh, Peter Sikora. I would be interested in signing him for sure. Uh, he is interested in signing with us. So let's just see. 69. Nice. He's actually pretty good um, in the seasons himself. So plays pretty good. For offense, he had uh, his playoffs. He had one bad year. Plus two, plus five, that's seven. Minus four, my, uh, that's three. That's nine right there. So I'd say... I'd say he's really good. He's a he's a nine overall. So I am definitely gonna sign him. Yeah, he's definitely really good in the, for us for the playoffs. So I can only go two more years. So might as well not go for the two more years. Just go for one year at uh, four point one five, uh, or not four point one five, but four point six. Actually, no. Just give him what he wants. Doesn't want that much. Just give him what he wants. We are not uh, extending his contract that much. So, oh, they definitely want to sign him. There we go. Uh, Keith Chipchura. I don't want to sign him because he's gonna not gonna be that good. Uh, Kamisarek is good. Yes, he's got a good potential, and as well, he's a 75 overall. He doesn't seem that interested in us, though. I don't think he's interested in signing with us. All right, we are not going to sign him then because he's not interested, guys, unfortunately. Uh, what about Kubina? All right, so let me just go for the... There we go, the overalls. Kubina, do we want him back? He wants to go back, uh, come back. Um, he's good in the seasons. And he's uh, not good in the playoffs. Minus four, minus one. So that's minus five right there, plus seven. Uh, plus 7, that's um, 2. Plus 11, that's... Uh, yeah, that's his... I don't know, guys. That's kind of rough. It's in the positive. I just did the... Okay, so I just did the average. I think he's in the positive. I am enjoying having him in the team because he produces a lot. So I am going to try my luck on him, I guess. Uh, 2... If I get him for four years at 39 years of age, I could get him uh, get him for three million. So I am gonna do that. Three million for four years again for Pavel Kubina. Just they stick with us, right, for the end of your career. And uh, let's see what we got here. So Skubina, he is. I think yeah, he's definitely interested in signing with us. He's uh, different interested enough. That is, he's pretty good. So I, we are gonna sign him back for one year. We are going to sign um, Nolan Patrick. Are we going to sign him? Uh, or not Nolan Patrick, Nolan Pratt. Uh, I don't I don't think I really want him. No, he's not really interested. So we're not going to sign him. Keith Chichura uh, and Charov, not interested. Dwyer, definitely interested in these, def uh, these uh, goaltenders here. So we uh, do have Jonathan Quick here and Dwyer and all. Jonathan Quick, I'm going to go for Dwyer first. Definitely want him. So Dwyer... Actually, what does he do? Alright, playoffs. Uh, he did not go into the playoffs, so we can't tell. Uh, he's really good in the season though. So Dwyer, definitely want him back. I am going to give him... It's a one-year deal, so a one-way deal. So two, three years. At uh, 1.95. 1.95 for three years. Andrew Dwyer. Come back for us please. You're going to be a really uh, good guild hander. You might have a chance this year or next year to get act to start uh, as our, our backup basically. But Grabowski. Not as good as um, Dwyer. But still have some potential. Did he, did he play at all? Did not play. He played a little bit in the NHL for some reason. But um, I think I've got too many great, uh, good goaltenders. So Grabowski, I can um, I can pass on him easily. Uh, Jonathan Quick, do I want him back? Um, he played a little bit of the NHL the here and there. So three, I'd say he didn't... Yeah, three, three. He's got uh, four. See, come... 
Come in the playoffs, if he gives up four goals, that's too much. That's just too much if he gives up two or four goals. I'm looking for a goaltender that gives up 3.5 at least or something like that. All right, so Jonathan Quick, good riddance to you. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sign him back. Definitely not. Let's see who comes back for us, and who do I have to give up a better contract than what I gave them? Dwyer is back, Fosber is back, Sikora, Kubina, Devries, Shetan, Odette. Uh, Smuggly doesn't want to come back, so we're going to have to give him a better. There are too many players at my position on your depth chart, okay. Uh, Edward. So he says, Smuggly says there's too many depth players on our position. Let me just see that really quick. Contracts. Can we see the contracts? There we go. So contracts. Let's just see it really quick. I think he's a left when you're right. Let me see really quick. Okay, so le uh, left when you're not. Not this. This is what I want. So one, two, three, four. Hmm. Is it left when you're or what is he? Or center maybe? I don't know what he is. Hang on. We're gonna have to check that out really quick. I don't know. Okay, so what is he? Dwyer, what are you? Not Dwyer, but... Um, buddy, Smuggly, you're a defenseman. Okay, defenseman. So we have... Apparently, he says we have too many defensemen already. He's not going to be able to play in the minors probably because of that. And he doesn't want that. Okay, let me just see. One, two, three, four, five, six. We got our six defensemen. One. Uh, that's probably going to be our... Like, uh, so we don't count him. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yeah, there's too many of them. Good lord. Yeah, all right. Okay, okay. Yeah, you're right. Wait. So, one, two, three, four, five. S no, actually, you're, you're, you're good, buddy. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what he's talking about. Release to free agency list. I'm going to do that really quick because maybe... There we go. Maybe it's going to convince uh, him. So, Commissarek, I'm going to release him. Let's just see really quick. Uh, Chipchura. I don't have this. Do I have to sign these guys? I don't think I have to. I don't know if I have to sign these guys or not. I'm just going to keep it for now. So, you're, def you're going to be good, buddy. Look, I'm going to give you more. Um, I'm going to give you more. Alright, three years. 1.45. Uh, 4.75. Alright. You should be accepting that. Three years, buddy. Alright. You got a, a little bit of a longer contract. Let's just see if you want it or not. Alright. And, uh, okay. So, let's just see what our situation looks like. So... Right wing position were great. Uh, just left wing position really quick. Because it's all the Steve shot situation. So one, two, three, four. We already have the three, the four, the four players. The Vries definitely should play in uh, the NHL. So I think, yeah, I think we can get rid of uh, Steve shot, guys. Let's just release Steve shot. We don't need him anymore. One, two, three. Uh, we're probably gonna need somebody so yeah let's sign this guy he's gonna play in the minors fine that's fine so let's just sign him he's gonna play in the minors uh, right uh, left uh, centerman let's just three one two three f okay we're gonna need a, another yeah we're gonna need another centerman okay that's good that's okay one okay so that's probably gonna be one two three four five so I think we're good on that part definitely good oh that not Krebs we did not sign him back so it doesn't count but uh, we still have four we just need a uh, centerman's let me just make sure that uh, everybody signs now oh hang on okay so let's just advance a day advance a day make sure that everybody does sign up with us 
to okay so smuggly does come back for three years and mayors did come back as well all right so i think the rest of them i'm just gonna go ahead and leave them be as they are and we're gonna look really quick at what we've got on our on our team really all right what door are we gonna need so let's just look safe shot so far is already the best the free agents probably not gonna be for long there we go we've got daniel afrison uh Nidu, scott Nidumeyer. we've got zerdev uh, ryan smith we've got steve shot as well so a lot of players you probably some of you guys will think that was a bad idea to get rid of steve shot and give him to free agency but the thing is we don't him. We don't need him. We have a young prospect coming up in the team, and it's time to think about uh, rebuilding a little bit of team. Because, yes, we are having great seasons, but comes up to the when we're coming up to the playoffs, we have shit players for the playoffs, and they're not producing, which means we're losing all our games. And I want the cup. That's all I want. It's a goddamn cup. All right. We made it to the finals of the cup the very first year. The next three years we can't make it there. That doesn't make any sense to me. So that's all it is. Let's look at our contracts. What we truly need. We're going to need uh, obviously a centerman. So we're going to need a centerman. Um, let me just see real quick. One, two, three, four. Uh, so we're good. One, uh, one, two, three, four. We're good on that part as well for the right wing position. Uh, and defenseman one two three four five six we're good and the uh, uh, goalie one and two montoya actually grew letonin did not grow but uh, montoya grew so that's good for us and Jaggerson, like look at this I, a minus b minus we've got good two great goaltenders coming up in the system that's going to be able to be the backup next year all right so montoya yeah, we're good. We're good. So we only need one centerman. Only one centerman, guys. Let's look at what we've got. Uh, centermans. We got a uh, shrimp. Pierre Marc Bouchard. All right. So these are the guys that we probably looks like the uh, nobody's gonna go for these guys. These two guys. So we might have a, a chance for these instead of. Uh, okay, so we cannot go for shrimp. Can't go for uh, Bouchard. These guys don't want to sign. So we got to find somebody that does want to sign with us. Yikes. That's kind of uh, crazy when you think about it. Even Brassard doesn't want to come uh, with us. Uh, there is Krejci though. David Krejci does want to sign with us. So that's a good thing at least. Uh, Frenzen. So we got Frenzen and Krejci. Let me see what the best option will be here. So, plus 21. Okay, minus 49 in this first year. Come on now. Uh, plus 21. Plus 19 is actually, you know what? Yeah. Kind of like this guy a lot. Krejci. Kind of like him a lot. What about uh, Frenzen? Uh, plus 23. Plus 5. But he's in the minuses for every year. So, no, I think Krejci would be a better asset for us overall. So, we're going to go for Cre David Krejci. Um, I guess we could probably go up to four years. So, let's try Let's try it out. Do we have competition with him? We do. All right. So, we're not going to stretch it out too much. What we're going to do is uh, we're just going to keep the two years then. And we're going to go for uh, the one million more just to make sure that it does come with us. So... Two years for 3.225. So hope that he does sign with us. Let's just look, we'll look at um, the other options. So we've got obviously Steve Schott, Ryan Smith, and all that. Kendall Mc McDurl. Got a couple of choices here, but we don't need, we don't need any of these guys. And uh, Steve Schott doesn't want to come back with us now that we uh, got rid of him completely. All right, so now that we released him, he doesn't want to come back. Um, anybody that does want to come back with us, see, this is the thing. No big-time players really wants to be with us. Not even Alfredson. Like, there's not a, nobody. Nobody wants to be with us. So this is a waste of time trying to um, trying to sign these guys. Let me see. Uh, Vlasic. Okay, we're good. 
What about goaltenders? Goaltenders and snub are nobody really that important. Okay, so we're good. Let's just hope that uh, we uh, get David Krejci. And we should be good afterwards. So just David Krejci. That's all we're uh, asking for here. And uh, afterwards, we're going to be able to move on to the next se uh, season. Unless there's another player like Alfredson or something. Like Once again, yeah, we did get Krejci. That's good. So we got everything we need. Unless there's Alfredson and Niedermeyer who actually do not get signed. You already know how it works. Uh, up to July. All right, so... Uh, no, not July, up to uh, August. If they uh, nobody, they're not signed up till up to uh, August. Uh, Alfredson did get signed. All right, so that's good. Probably new to buy is going to be the guy in the, this year that's not going to be signed. So we're going to have to sign him in order to make him play because the nine years overall, we cannot let them go or uh, get stuck into the um, free agency. So Niedermeyer, you're going to have to go with us, buddy. All right, even though you don't want to come with us, nobody's interested in you. Let's see what he does in the play uh, season and playoffs. He's got three positives, one negative, so that's good, and two positives, one negative. So he's pretty good, pretty good. Uh, it's going to be a good addition to our team, so we're going to go ahead and uh, and get him for sure. We don't have a choice, so we're actually going to give him two years at. Um, the uh, the maximum so 6.15 all right three two years 6.15 he should accept ryan smith i don't know if he's gonna sign with any, anybody but that's not uh, my problem let's see the scott scott is with us guys so we got scott niedermeyer on our team now all right here we go scott niedermeyer on our team which means we have a even better defense they want to trade us they want to give us Akposo, 86 overall, and uh, Mike Brown, I believe, for Valibic and Peter Sikura. Um, I am going to go ahead and decline that trade. I am not interested in making trades that are stupid like that. They want to be, uh, they want to, uh, they want Ryer. I am not going to make any trades, all right? I'm not making any trades. The trades that I'm making are made by me, not the, the, fan, uh, the, the, the AI. All right, making a executive decision here. Contracts. So we're definitely going to have one defenseman uh, that's going to be too much. Actually, that defenseman probably will be able to play as our, like, I don't know. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, Timonen or Kubina, any of these two guys could play as our, I guess, our, our um, replacements. So I think we're good. Let's just see real quick. Let's uh, continue to simulate. They do want to give us Ken Dryden for Niedermeyer. Now hold on. That is interested. That is interesting. Ken Dryden. All right. Let's see what he can do for us. Three. Okay. It's not that good. And uh, he's actually playing pretty good in the playoffs though. He's got pretty good playoff stats. He's uh, not overly good in the season, but he's, he's okay. All right, all right. That could be a great option for da uh, Dakiv as well. I am not interested in Dakiv. Just going to remove this guy. I'm not interested in him. So I'm going to say Montoya. A little and it's really good, so I want to keep little Montoya. Let's try to see if, it, if that uh, works. It does. So, we just got rid of uh, Niedermeyer. Niedermeyer, we signed him, but we got rid of him immediately. We didn't really need him anyways. We had all the defensemen we needed. Plus, um, we gave up as well a, a player, a minor player, a prospect. Basically, that's 27 years of age in exchange for one of their prospects that is actually 21 years of age or something like that. So he has more time to grow. And uh, we get Ken Dryden for Montoya. So I'm pretty happy. We got Ken Dryden for two years. And Littonen as well. So hopefully Lit uh, Dryden is going to be better than um, Jacques Plante, guys. Hopefully. Because come down. It says that in the playoffs he's been pretty decent. And not giving up four goals. All I'm looking for is three points. 
0.5 minimum uh, maximum all right for a goaltender in the playoffs and in this season as well so we're good looks like we're good let's just continue here make sure oh no 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 stop 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 all right stop all right so i'm gonna have to go for the uh the roster moves really quick i uh, think we're gonna do all that in the next video though all right we're gonna check out the roster moves and all of that in the next video i'll see you with the actual uh, edit lines and everything we're gonna start up the fifth season Remember to leave a like and subscribe to the end of the video. I'm going to see you all for the next one. Keep it easy.